Afternoon, Green Valley. Uh, sorry that it's 102 out there, but it's pretty nice in the studio, isn't it, Chet? Absolutely. You know, I was thinking of uh, giving away free ice cubes today, but I realized <laughs> we, we couldn't store them outside for some reason. And I guess there was life in Arizona prior to air conditioning, but it wasn't my life. Yeah, well, it, uh, I think, was uh, on the top of the mountains. <laughs> Perhaps. The, this is actually not too bad in here. This is beautiful in the studio. And I have great air conditioning in my car at our home and in my office. I, I keep thinking of Ray Stevens' song talking about our air-conditioned lives, but uh, that was many years ago, and I don't think Ray saw it to this degree. But anyway, it's okay. a uh, terrific Tuesday afternoon, and that was Larry Kempton from uh, Home Watch Caregivers. Also with us today, Danielle Burleson, and uh, she is from The Villas. Or we should call them La Villas. We'll give it a French <laughs> twist there. And uh, just a quick note that, we, yes, we are live on Facebook. Hello out there. Arrowhead Water, free plug. <laughs> and uh, we are also going to, uh, let's see, we're on Facebook. We're on your phone. We're streaming on the web. Uh, we're not on any electronic billboards yet live. That would be kind of neat, wouldn't it, Larry? That would be kind of scary. Yeah, <laughs> and these two guys overlooking the highway. Well, it could, it could I'd, be I'd, Jurassic I would Park. not want to read about somebody driving off of I-19 yeah. because they were trying to watch Green Valley Cares. I well, just wouldn't want to see that. Well, they'd probably be laughing at us <laughs> saying, look at those guys. But anyway, Danielle. But, and good. Facebook works really well. Just It's KGVY Familiar Favorites. I know that our... Our friend Steve Wagner kind of keeps track of that for on behalf of KGVY. But I encourage anyone who's certainly, if you're on Facebook, follow follow us, follow this show, follow Homewise Caregivers, follow KGVY, familiar favorites, and you can see what we're doing here on Green Valley Cares. And uh, anyway, before you begin the conversation, Danielle, I'm going to push this mic your way so we can hear you. For some reason, we didn't set up three mics, but uh, uh, we'll learn to do that. <laughs> Two right now is our challenge. So anyway, um, I'll toss it back to you, Larry. Yeah, well, uh, try to have a, a friend and an associate uh, on Green Valley Cares thinking about the information that would be useful to our listeners. So the, the concept, Chet and Steve and Danielle and all of our listeners behind this show is that we want people to understand the network of support that exists within Green Valley for seniors. This is a great place to live your senior years. It's a great place to be retired. So Danielle, I've worked with for several years. She worked, she came from another media, local media, and she was our ad representative at Green, at Homewatch Caregivers. So she was in touch with our office at least once a week because she would remind me to send in our ad which is due <laughs> and i just got that notice from your successor this morning reminding me to send in an ad um, but danielle is now with the villas as chet has indicated so um first of all welcome danielle and tell us about what you're doing at the villas well thank you thank you for having me it was very nice meeting you as well um, I am the new marketing and sales manager at the Villas Assisted Living and Memory Care Neighborhood here in Green Valley. Um, it has been a, an adjustment. It's been great. Um, I am really enjoying it there, and um, I am just doing that new position. So where where is the Villas? I know where it is, but all of our listeners may not. It is in Green Valley. It is right past Friends Indeed and right before Kaylee Cakes on the right-hand side. So there's a good middle zone for you. So if you're heading south on La Cañada, it'll be on your right, and it's just adjacent to Friends Indeed, sort of behind their wall. Yes. And just before Kaylee Cakes. Instead of turning left to go to the White Elephant, you would just turn right. Yeah, because your your entrance is off of that street, Correct. not off of La Cañada. Correct. So what is it about the villas that's different or unique or better in, from your perspective? 
Well, I, I enjoy the villas. Before I made the career move, I, I thoroughly looked into them. One thing I really have to highlight that I think is the best thing there is the care ratio. Um, there's care managers, and it's one care manager for ten res or for five residents, excuse me. So it's one to five care, um, and most places out in this area, it's one to ten. So it's one care provider per ten residents. So at our facility, you really get that one-on-one -on -one care. Um, so I really enjoy that. Um, so w one thing that's different about the villas, when you first drive in, you'll see that there are separate buildings. Yes. I don't know, do you call them neighborhoods or what do you it call them? It is called the Villa Neighborhood. There's also three of these same exact locations in Tucson. Um, so those are also called the Villa Neighborhoods. So what those are is each home is 6,000 square feet. Um, they're beautifully decorated. There's 10 studios inside each home um, with their own separate um, studio, your own bathroom, your own facility, but then you also join in with the, everyone else in the home and you have a large living room area, kitchen area, dining, um, enough room for your family to come visit and stay and enjoy the time with you as well. Um, so we have 10 of those facilities in that neighborhood currently. So if the family wanted to come and visit, they could actually stay on site? Yes, they can. We actually have um, open dining rooms as well. One lady has a Mahjong um, tournament. She still continues, and her <laughs> Mahjong team comes once a month, and they um, use the dining room at the facility. Okay, so I, I make a vain effort at playing golf, and I understand pickleball. I used to play softball and basketball. What is Mahjong? I don't understand it too well, um, <laughs> but it is it is a, a card game. It's a card game. Yes. Okay. It's very popular out here in Green Valley. So probably smart guys like Chet Walker and Steve <laughs> Wagner know all about Mahjong. No. <laughs> no? Poker? Poker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So I, I didn't realize that people could come and stay. That That's that's certainly a differentiator. And, again, the, the primary difference when you drive up to other assisted living facilities there's typically one large building or Correct. adjacent buildings but at the villas they're they're separate units yes and how are people assigned within those i mean like if if i if i were coming to the villas how would how would you assign how would you decide which unit i were to go to well we assessed first their needs to see if there's memory care behavioral care what mm -hmm. type of needs they need um, and then their personalities and what they need while they're there recently i just interviewed or met with some former alaskans um, and mm -hmm. i know that there's other alaskan residents so they wanted to go and tour that facility and they decided to all stay together um, so it's just based on your personality, um, how you feel being in the home, um, and what your needs are for your care. So you have an Alaska wing. We do. <laughs> we do. I'm excited about it, and I have a feeling it's going to grow. Good. Uh, so we, we joke about that because you lived in Alaska yes. for several years. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I, I'm a Buckeye. Okay. Is there a Buckeye wing? <laughs> no, not currently. Not yet. But there could be. <laughs> there could be. <laughs> And Steve's well, you're you're kind of like me. You're from all over Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania originally, but California and life has brought you to different places. So at the villas, you could you could find a home there with <laughs> with other people that have similar experience. Well, you know, Larry, one of. Life brings them to a point where they need uh, on, ongoing full-time care in a, in a facility 
like the villas, there, there are several choices right here. You don't have to leave Green Valley to have a good place. Yeah. And, Dan, Danielle, uh, talk a little bit about the activities that uh, okay. they made. really do think Green Valley caters to that older generation. So for medical, for um, assisted living, for anything, Green Valley is definitely a great community to help mm -hmm. you with any of your needs as you get older. Not to mention radio. And the radio, <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Um, when, uh, the villas, I really enjoy, um, like I mentioned, the one to five care ratio. You have your own studio uh, apartment type setting in your um, home and we also have 40 activities a month that they alternate uh, recently for Father's Day they had belly dancers come and do a belly dancing show <laughs> what? no uh, what? <laughs> no investigate they this. should be in the next interview <laughs> And uh, frankly, when, when we are talking with a, one of our clients or a friend or neighbor who is considering assisted living, their first question is, how's the food? Right. So the, how's the food at the The food is, is very good. Safeway delivers to each house. Every house has their specific needs and orders. Um, mm -hmm. Some people are particular in what they eat. Um, last night they had uh, fettuccine alfredo and shrimp. <laughs> um, so the caregivers cook each meal in each house every single day. Um, breakfast is made to order. Lunch is the lightest or the heaviest meal of the day, and dinner is lighter. But everything is cooked and baked in each house every day. Mm. Yeah. So uh, my wife, Tammy, who is a nutritionist with her first degree, is teaching a class today at HomeWatch Caregivers entitled Breezy Summer Meals. Oh. So she's... Hopefully, theoretically, and I'm sure she's doing it well, doing it well, imparting some knowledge to our caregivers who also do a lot of cooking mm -hmm. about how to prepare meals in the summertime. So it's actually the caregivers that are doing the cooking, huh? Yes. Huh. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit different than in some facilities, which might have a central kitchen facility and a cook or a chef. Mm -hmm. Each house has a beautiful commercialized kitchen, great um, staff great appliances and um i've seen those yes so how would how would uh someone who's at a at a research stage in their life how would they uh go about getting a, a tour of the villas um you would come down to the villas or you would call me and um, schedule that appointment you can always reach me at 520 256-4542 I am there Tuesday through Saturday, 9 to 5. Um, if you would like to have a tour, just give me a call, and I'll be right waiting for you, and we can tour all the facilities or any specific ones you'd like. So you're the tour guide at the I moment. am. <laughs> Good. And I also stick with my with my customers and residents, too. So I not only tour you, but then I will come and check on you every day um, in the morning and before I leave and anything you need. I have one um, resident there who loves his cookies right after lunch, and his <laughs> wife gave me permission to give him one cookie a day. Huh. So I went and bought his favorite cookies. I keep them in my office. and. He does have amnesia, but he does remember me when he sees hmm. me. He says, where's the cookie? It did take him some time, but he does know I'm bringing the cookies. Cookie lady. Yes. He's
need, if you have dementia, if you have behavioral, if you need assistance, um, getting healthy after surgery. We also have respite care too. If, um, if you are ill and you need just some one-on-one -on -one attention and some extra care in the house, you can come and just stay with us for two weeks at a time until you're better. When you are released from the hospital, if you just need some extra care uh, and it's too much to go home at that time, so you can just stay with us um, daily for two weeks and that you get all that medical attention, the RN nurses can visit you. We cater to your special needs and make sure you're, you're taken care of. So one of the questions that we get, or among the questions that we get, Danielle, are, you know, why would a home care agency even want to understand about assisted living? Uh, on the surface, it would appear that our primary goal is to keep people at home, mm -hmm. and your goal is to get them to move into the villas. So our response is just, this is how it works. Uh, for someone, <laughs> if you're full, which you are occasionally, uh, and you have a wait, you you have a waiting list if someone is on that waiting list they're still at home and they need they need help and home watch caregivers can help them mm -hmm. and we do have clients in facilities like the villas that maybe need a little more one-on-one -on -one assistance than at the time might be available what what it what that typically looks like is maybe in the mornings when there's kind of a rush for people taking showers and mm -hmm. getting ready to start their day uh, that we we can provide in facility caregivers in addition to your caregivers. Correct. Yeah, so that that happens frequently. Yes. For us. Mm -hmm. And um, at home watch caregivers, we don't hesitate to. For us, it's all about what's best for the client, what's best for that person, and if that person would be better served by being at the villas or at any assisted living facility we're going to advocate for that and we will share with them a list of of facilities in green valley uh at the top of that list is right. the villas <laughs> so we we want people to know what their options are and to understand and at the end of at the end of the day all of us are working together to make sure everyone's given the best care at whatever level they need um, I want to make sure that I'm caring for the people just like I would care for my family, just like someone would care for Larry or myself when that time comes. So we really, it does take a lot of your heart. Um, you are doing a lot of this from the heart to make sure everyone gets the best care that they can possibly get, no matter who they need to work with. We're all doing it as a team. Mm. And I like that. It's coming sooner than we might like to think. No. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I can see the day. And in fact... Uh, shortly after we opened our doors at Home Watch Caregivers, my wife and I purchased long-term care insurance because mm -hmm. it became apparent to us that most people, not everyone, but most people at some point in their life will need help. And that's a good point. Um, a lot of people have never really told me too much about that. Now being in this industry, I don't think they prepared the younger generation enough for this type of care. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely long-term care insurance is a need. Yeah, and it's not something you can, you can wait and purchase at the last minute. Right. The analogy that I've been offered is that if you wait until your house is on fire, it's too late to call the <laughs> fire insurance company. Yes. So if you wait until you need long-term care insurance, the underwriters are just going to say no. Mm -hmm. They're they're just not going to provide it. So uh, a, a note of caution to the baby boomers out there: yes. if you don't need long-term care insurance yet, now is probably the time to investigate a policy and consider a policy because that that is the only insurance in most cases that will reimburse for long any kind of long-term care i think these
That, that ain't going to happen when you're in your 90s. You're not going to be walking down a sidewalk that's all covered in ice. And, well, that's uh, falls... Yeah, we've we're very fortunate at Homewatch Caregivers. A lot of our caregivers are relatively young, healthy retirees who either have realized that they have a little more energy than they would they had thought that they might have in retirement, or that they need a little income mm -hmm. to provide for themselves through their retirement years. Or the social part too. Or the socialization. So we have a lot of our caregivers who are uh, retirees that have rich life experience mm -hmm. a lot of them as caregivers maybe they've nursed a, a spouse or a family member anyone who's been a mother has been a caregiver that's true uh, and you know I've been a part of a lot of interviews of potential caregivers and they'll say well but I don't have any real experience <laughs> I raised five kids but I don't have any experience as a caregiver <laughs> well yeah you've been a caregiver if you've raised children mm -hmm. My here's a funny little joke. My neighbor, um, he just turned 87 this past Saturday, wow. and he is the popcorn man at Fry's grocery store. And I just recently told him about my change in jobs, and he keeps saying, "Oh, don't you even try to take me over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be serving popcorn for the next 15 years." I said, "Okay." <laughs> Good for him. So I, I'm I'm a Safeway guy because I live in Green Valley. Mm -hmm. But what what's the popcorn man do? Um, he just greets them and passes out popcorn huh. three days a week. I have to switch to fries and go get yeah, some he's free popcorn. Great. His name is Arthur. He's got a great personality, and he walks four miles every morning and four wow. miles every night. Yeah, again, that that's the real uh, beauty. When my wife and I first started visiting here, when we still lived in Vermont, mm -hmm. Danielle, not quite as cold as Alaska, but pretty <laughs> doggone cold. Uh, we, we would come down in February because Tammy was teaching school, and that's, that was a time when there was a school break. But we'd, we'd come to Arizona in February when it was 40 degrees below zero mm -hmm. in Vermont. You get down here and it's 60, feels like 90. And there are people walking their dogs and, and their birds singing, which mm -hmm. just doesn't happen anywhere where it's cold. That's true. This generation definitely loves their birds. They love to see the birds. And and uh, you you probably know this, but... I've got a friend who was for several years the manager of the Best Western. Madeira Canyon is a major draw mm -hmm. in this area for birders. Top five. Yes. One of the top five in the country or yeah. in the world? In the, well to another state to see a certain cow because I, I'm, I, you know, that's my background. I Cattle. do stay up there every Thanksgiving oh, um, and good. the wild turkeys are out. So that does give you a... There are bears up there too, you there's know. There's bears, wild turkeys. There's a lot going but on you've, up there. You've been in Alaska, so <laughs> I say bears. That doesn't bother you, I'm sure. No. <laughs> so we're... This always happens, Danielle. We're about out of time. It's a 30 minute show, but the 30 minutes just fly by. We appreciate people that tune in and listen. And it is very gratifying, Chet and Steve, that I, as I travel around the community, 
frequently have people say to me, oh, you're the, you're the guy that's on the radio every Tuesday. So people do listen. They don't always call in. They don't always uh, make themselves known, but they're listening. Mm -hmm. And that's very encouraging. So uh, we just want to, uh, as, as we kind of fade out, I want to share with you how to get in touch with HomeWatch caregivers. Uh, we want you to consider us a resource. We've got information about assisted living facilities like the villas, which we highly recommend. And this charming young lady, Danielle Burleson, that we, we, we hope that you'll get in touch with. But how do you get in touch with HomeWatch caregivers? Uh, there are several ways. The best way is to call us. We want to talk to you. Give us a call. Our local number is 282-4088. That's 282-4088. And before I forget, I need to remind our listeners, Steve and Chet, that we have a, a special going for the month of July. So if you call us, if, you're, if you have not been a customer or a client of HomeWise Caregivers before, if you call us in July, we will we will come and do four one-hour shifts for a total of $100, which is well below mm -hmm. the, the going rate for that type of service. So you can call us at 282-4088, ask about our July special for new clients. You can email us. Our email address is Green Valley. That's one word, Green Valley, at homewatchcaregivers.com. You can go to our website, which is homewatchcaregivers.com read about who we are and what we do and why we do it. Uh, we're, we are vested in this community and in the work that we do. We do it for what we think, what we know are the right reasons. We know that we are helping our friends and neighbors. So you can call us, you can email us, you can go to our website. Or if you're like Steve Wagner and you know that we have chocolate at our office, you can stop by. And look for the candy jar. It's usually on the front desk. Yeah. <laughs> our, our office is at 75 West Calle de las Tiendas, not far from Manuel's Restaurant. That's kind of the nearest landmark. So give us a call and let us share our information. Let our family care for yours. Uh, we can provide assistance at, at whatever level you might need. We have a registered nurse on our staff and some very skilled people in the office they can help assess your needs, and we will do no more or no less than you need. We are here to help you, including information. So that's about all we have for today. We hope you've enjoyed Green Valley Cares. If you have a question on home care,